Hi Libra. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just jump right in here. If you're new to the space, uh, welcome. My name's Raji and this space is called Opal Oracle. Most of you are regulars, so welcome back. It's so nice to see you. I hope you're doing good either way. All right. Um, I want to be, I'd like to be efficient in this time frame as much as possible. Not that I don't care and don't want to sit with you for like an hour or five hours, but um, yeah, it's important sometimes to make structure with time, right? So I'm choosing one Oracle card for you and then we'll jump into some other ones. You actually received Abracadabra, which I love in this deck. I want to just read it to you. It says, rising from a kingdom, a giant person glows in, in the distance. They are so tall that they can touch the stars all around them. With their magic wand, they can coax the future from the constellations. There is such order in the universe, in the golden ratio of the nautilus shell or in the patterns of the starry night. We can unlock the secrets of the universe, right? Because, well, we all know the secrets of the universe in our hearts. We are all the magicians of our own lives. Beautiful Libra. Okay, so let's actually set a timer. Okay, so why are you here? Well, you'd like to see things from a wider perspective, right? A different perspective, that's very helpful very open-minded of you actually um, you've been focusing on something right you're like yes this or this thing this whatever this is that you've been focusing on and it's something it's something important that's a healing aspect of, of you too, like emotionally. There's something where you're like, yes, this. Um, maybe you've been also, maybe it would be, I can't, well, I guess this is, well, the past is a funny thing, right? The past can be five minutes ago, it could be five years ago. Um, so I guess for now, remember that you, have a natural ability to be able to see things from a wider perspective, right? You can take yourself out of your own shoes and put yourself in somebody else's shoes and really you can see from that perspective. Now, are you meant to like absorb all those feelings and try to fix their problems? No, no, but you can be sympathetic and compassionate and, and, uh, understand um, maybe there are some people in your life that feel like they're lost. I heard, just remember, that um, everyone has the ability to find their way. Okay? And you have lost your way before, right? And now you have found your way. You're finding your way. So... We'll just know that. I guess I heard wish, wish, wish those well. Um, and um, be pleased. I heard please with what you can see, right? You're, again, your ability to see. Literally, the, your ability to see from another person's perspective, it's really beautiful. Not everybody has that magic. I mean, everyone has Libra, but particularly if you're like a Libra sun, Libra Venus, whatever, more personal, you can really step into that person's world. But you have to remember not to, I heard, close the door whenever you go into somebody else's world because it's not your world. I mean, are we all connected? Yes, but um, because what you are, what is necessary at this time is actually the world. So, um, so 
So it's very important for you to, uh, what do I see here? Well, I guess you have the capacity to be able to fix something. And again, I see something really strong that's emotional. You've already been fixing it, though. Um, let's see what you want. Ooh, Ace of Gardens. Awesome. How are you feeling? Jester of Winds, which is the page of... Um, look at those Look at those bat goggles. What are you going to be for Halloween? What are you going to be for spooky season, Libra? Uh, you got any plans? I feel like you'd look good in red. Um, maybe this is also making costumes. Something like this. Like, Okay, so... Oh, I heard, please never pretend to be anything that you are not. Don't be weaker than you are. Um, I heard that uh, Lauren Hill song. It's like, don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem. Do you know what I mean? Like the parts that you shine, shine, shine. Not to show off. That ain't your thing anyway. It's just be proud. I heard be proud of the way God made you. And whatever you have been graced um, graced with in this life. And I saw someone looking down at their hands and being like, wow, hands, you know what I mean? Like fingers, like they do stuff, right? Because we always, we have all these things that function all the time. Um, but then when, when something doesn't function, it's so obvious, right? It's like, ah. and you're like, oh, I can't do what I, you know, for instance, when you are unable to do something, you notice, right? It's very obvious when you cannot do something. And it's so beautiful and flowing and free when you can. But even when it's I see flowing and free, please try to come back into this, you know, like I heard rise above that place of presence and appreciate what that is. Okay. Interesting. Um... I feel as if there is a bigger goal. Um, something really solid that you're trying, that you... Well, there's healing here again. Let's see what the advice is. Ooh, the Three of Gardens. You have three threes on the board. No, four threes. Five, technically, with that? Wow. Wow. Five threes. What's that? Fifteen breaks down into six. Um, this is you. Sixes are about balance, so they say. Right? It's an even number. Um, so you're like triangulating something. I heard it's you and that which you're you and that which you focus on and then like spirit. You know what I mean? Like there's these three these three components. Always remember why well, I heard that God is involved somehow. Um, like there's something higher that, that needs to be part of the like an a like an awareness and even when we don't realize it, it's like there's always something right, like the stars for instance, they go isn't it fascinating that people have been following the stars? You know, even like, I mean, literally for so long, the same stars, because they're always been the same stars, you know, they don't, they move, but they, but they're always there. Like, like, it's like, we always have a map. Now, of course I heard there are cloudy days, you know, where you can't see the stars, so you have to trust yourself or you have to be patient and sit still and realize, okay, I, I heard I cannot see where I need to go right now, or I heard, or you cannot hear something, something cannot be heard. If that's the case, well then be still. And I believe we talked about this last month. It's like when you are unable to do something, 
then you go do something else. There is always something to be done. Right? Always something to be done. And one of those things that are, is really good to do is for you to also take those moments where you cannot do all these Saturnian, right, responsible kinds of other people sort of things. Because I know you love that. I know, like, your heart's like, duh, 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 duh. I get to help somebody. I get to, I get to, like, be a part of something. And yes, you get, you get that. But another thing is just, like, you and life being like, ah, I heard, thanks, God. Like, thanks, life. And, and, and that in itself is really emotional. Like, that almost brought tears to my eyes. Do you know what I mean? Because emotion can come from so many places. You know? We'd think tears are sad. <laughs> but they can be tears of joy. There's a word for that in Japanese. I never remember the word. But it's like, it's so beautiful, it brings tears to your eyes, you know? It's like it almost brings, like, the feeling of sorrow, but it's not. It's like the opposite, but it looks the same, but it's not. Interesting. Um, I guess your advice is that you're also going the right way. But I sense that there could... Okay. Yes. You're going the right way. But you could kind of, in your feeling space, which actually lives in your head, I see... Um, it could be where you're like, am I, am I going the right way? I heard, am I doing the right thing? Am I, yes, trust yourself. Um, I would also say for this, whenever you find this, there's something about threes. So what is this? Uh, the third, the 12th, the 21st. I also saw the ninth. The 3rd, the 9th, the 12th, the 21st. Maybe if you add those numbers up, I don't know what that equals. Something like this. But I heard, try not to get too technical about it, but, but just, I don't know, maybe you mark it on your calendar. Like, I heard, maybe it's a special day. <laughs> okay. You may need to kind of step out of a certain world, like know when to check in and when to check out. It's kind of what we talked about in the beginning. Like, I heard, I love you, I care about you, I want to be, like, be all in this. But Libra, to me, has can have very strong Pisces, because it's a, it's a quincunx, right? So you can float into other people's worlds, um especially when you get really tight with them so you want to make sure what the boundaries are because you already know that when if you if you jump into someone else's pool i heard head first then well you always end up touching the bottom uh -uh. don't even think about it cat do not go in the house nope hold on uh -uh. don't even think no nope. No. No, thank you. Gotta make boundaries. They're not domesticated anyway. That cat don't need me. It's just playing. It's making a little baby sound. Okay, we talk... Let's close it like this. Although, because it sounds like a crying baby. We talked about this last month. Yes. Remember, there are a lot of layers to things. And if you ever have lost a child, if you ever, like, again, you, you, I heard the gentle part of you that has been right. Don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem. It's like softening these places, right? Um, and I know that you've been working so hard and trying to figure out, like, I heard what the difference between love and pain. 
I know. And what, and you know what? I actually feel like um, you could be, um, there's another three. Threes are so strong. Maybe you want to look at your third house. This is also the moon to me, so please, especially if you're a woman, please watch your moon. Um, I do feel like you will have conversations with other people. Um, it could be conversations that you've already had. Like, um, I heard if you know that some... Just remember that you already have the knowledge, that the knowledge is already had, that if someone does not know something and you've already had a conversation with them, you having another conversation with them is not necessarily going to help it at this time. Um, now, you surrendering, at least, again, I heard at this time, like to a certain extent being like, I heard, I can't do anything about that. Like you solving someone else's problem, for instance. Like you can't do anything about that. But what you can do, I see again, uh, like other... Because I heard you got your own darkness to deal with. Now, of course, be, be supportive, be kind and caring, right? Um, but remember that we all have, I heard, snakes in our closet, snakes in our heart. Um, so I guess try to be understanding, but don't jump in somebody else's pool. And I heard, you know, that that would be, that's like, that's foolish, right? It puts you in a corner. Yes. It puts you in a corner, right? We all, I heard we all got our own problems to deal with. Now, this is not to be selfish. It's I'm just saying, like, yes, you already know. Saturn card. It's like with the Empress. And this includes your family, too, right? Your spouse, your children, wh whatever. Um, I do see also, this is showing me something, too, with, like, maybe you're also trying to open up, like, root chakra kind of energy, like maybe even like sort of or or like sacral chakra like sexual energy or creative energy emotional energy these three i feel like you're working on or it needs to be this is another space i guess when we talked about the child last time it's opening this up right that's what the to me that's what the inner child like stands upon is this sacral chakra which of course depends on our root chakra so Know that you are beautiful or handsome, right? Handsome used to be ladies and gentlemen. You are talented. You are intelligent. You are completing things. You are divinely guided. You are planting good seeds. And if you know that it's, I heard, healthy with what you're doing, and I do see, please take a wider perspective. Nothing wrong with that. Some people aren't supposed to overly focus on the future. You need to focus more there than questioning yourself because of whatever the past yes don't don't come at it from fear and be like oh could i do that or do i need to push this no just i heard let you know what it feels like when it flows and you know what it feels like when you have to go right abracadabra you know what's really funny about that where is it there abracadabra can you see it funny I love you so much, Libra. Thank you for being a part of this space. Thank you for, well, all the growth that you've done. You know, all the signs have grown so much, or at least through these readings, like to see the progression, to feel it, to talk about it differently, to like make different choices. Like it's really inspiring. And I thank you so much, especially you like being contented with yourself too, and like enjoying your own achievements. Because you need a little, like, a little bit of me. You know what I mean? Like, a little bit of I, X, Y, Z. That's okay. Um, also, I would say with all those threes, what is it that you need to, you know, you need to complete this month? 
right this time frame there are definitely three things this could have to do with work i also just see like kind of cleaning things up a little bit right and being like okay i really want to maybe it's three things before your birthday if you're a sun sign also happy equinox by the way whenever you find this but it's it's getting there um yeah and please feel good about who you are and i heard again the the grace and mercy that you have been granted even if you're going through a little bit of a hard time with something okay it just i heard it's just making you stronger and more graceful <laughs> i do appreciate all of you it, it is such a treat the comments so awesome there's like Right, a you know, like one percent of like weird porn that somebody posts, and I always just take it off. But like, really, people are so kind and so loving, and I work with so many wonderful people privately. And any of you also who have extended your um, self education, if you will, and decided to repot yourself in the garden of Patreon, thank you so very much. That has been a pleasure and a treat as well. Um, it's a little looser over there if you haven't been over there, but it's, um, well, if you have, thank you so very much. And if you haven't, a little tidbit, because I would presume it would be, well, that's why I can't, I'm not an advertiser. I'm not going to put it in the beginning. It's like, if you're still here, you would be the one that you went all the way through class. You would want to take an extender class. So, um, there's mythology and astrology and uh, timeless readings and moon readings and, um, I don't know garden there's lots of plant the plant stuff episodes the herbal series is really cool um it's just an interesting little space extra space so if you'd like to check it out please feel free otherwise it is always a pleasure libra um and i heard remember it's okay to wash your hands of things Five of, five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it's okay to wash your hands, I heard, of fear or lack or letting go. You can still love people. You can still forgive people. You can still connect to people. But sometimes you really do have to make harder boundaries. Meaning, like hard meaning where you don't sway. You're like no, this is, this, that's inappropriate for me. You know what I mean? Like, we talked about your morals last month. Because, it's, it, those boundaries are very important. It helps keep you, say, I heard safe and sound. Right? And when you're in the center, when you're centered, your magic's going to be stronger anyway. You know what I mean? Your, your love will be stronger. Because it touches more people. I love you so much. Please take care, and I'll talk to you next time.